All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We definitely appreciate you guys' support. Check it out. I wanted to do a quick video about this one because this one is pretty much laughable. Laughable when you start thinking about how some people are planning to protect our children. This is why I say constantly that it's our job to protect our children because if you leave it to some of the things that the government wants to do or some of the politicians' suggestions, it's just quite frankly kind of funny. You know, their, their idea, like like serious, you get paid that much money to to give that kind of feedback or that kind of advice. Like, it's just unbelievable, right? Anyways, if you want to support the Jarhead 6 channel, make sure you subscribe. Check out the B channel. We're posting videos there all the time, pretty much. 9 o'clock in the morning, typically. And if you want to be part of a private community, join the Patreon. We're definitely going to appreciate that. But check it out. This is one of the things that I read online and i seen, you know, several different uh, uh, channels reporting on this. And to me, it was borderline ridiculous, you know. And essentially, this is a guy that is running from, let me bring it up over here. I think it's Colorado, right? Colorado. And essentially, what he decided to do was to spray himself with all C, right? And that's one of his idea in order to protect our children from all the school shooting, you know, have the teachers carry OC, pepper spray. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous that we hear this kind of stuff. I'll tell you what, guys. I went through no lethal weapons and tactic instructor course back in 2007 on uh, Missouri for Leonardwood. Army post, and, and like I said, that was to be an instructor in no lethal. So I spray many people, I taste many people, uh, I taught classes on no lethal tactics in the Marine Corps, and, and so I will say that I'm a little bit experienced. You know, knowing that I was a military policeman, I got sprayed direct contact to my eyes, pepper spray, different times. I also got level two, which is a little bit different, and, and again, a lot of stuff. And I'm telling you right now that you could still do things even though you're being sprayed i mean a criminal is going to do things even though he got sprayed with oc he's going to continue so the oc the pepper spray is pretty much nothing compared to stopping a bad guy i mean you essentially what this happened and some of the cops will tell you this when you spray a suspect when you spray uh, a guy a criminal or somebody not following the the basic escalation of force or basic whatever you're telling that person to do a lot of times you piss him off he gets really mad and sometimes he becomes more combative so it's not only about you know uh uh stopping the threat is that in some instance the guy becomes more upset and fights even more because obviously that person is in, in pain so it kills me to see guys like this i guess this guy's name is tillerman or tillman levi or something democratic candidate for colorado sixth congressional district uh and this is what he said you know he said you know what we should arm teachers with no lethal tactics such as pepper spray and he actually spray himself he actually spray himself like somebody spray him and he recorded the whole video where he's running for office showing how much it sucks and all that now don't get me wrong getting sprayed with oc sucks but what i'm saying is that it's not going to stop a bad guy from shooting kids it's just not going to and you know i'm thinking about this and i continue to to, to say to myself why are we listening to guys that are not experts? You know, guys like this that have no idea on, you know, proper tactics, proper law enforcement, proper security plan, proper uh, vulnerability, you know, physical security, self-defense plan. Why are we listening to these people? It's the same thing with these kids marching around, going around the country, spreading the garbage about gun control because we want to protect our kids. I don't need to listen to children. I don't need to listen to people that have no experience regarding my children's safety. No. Nah. You know, really what we need to do is to have experts, you know, guys that have intensive or, or, or a stain uh, law enforcement background that could come down and develop a security plan that could protect their children. I give you a prime example. Volusia County, which is pretty close to me, just approved like three point six million dollars, like three point six million over three million dollars, something like that, to hire forty four guys to be officers of the school. So they're going to be training 
and placing 44 individuals looking for people that have military background, law enforcement background, to protect our children. That's taking action. That makes sense. That's protecting our children. Now, giving, you know, oh, we should give the, the teachers pepper spray. What are you going to do with pepper spray? Listen, guys, I learned this in the military, and this is something that we talked about, talked about it in the military a lot, right? I link, by the way, I link this down below for you guys to check it out if you want to. There is no, no lethal mission. We used to talk about this in the Marine Corps a lot. There is no, no lethal mission because what are you going to do with a pepper spray? Are you going to face a bad guy with a gun with a pepper spray? Are you insane? Are you insane? A guy comes towards you with a gun and you're going to take a pepper spray out? I mean, like, listen to what I'm saying. There is a guy inside a school shooting at children and you're going to take your pepper spray out. Please, please, if you're in Colorado, please don't vote for this guy. This guy is, I, I, I just can't even believe his policies. He has, you know, if he gets into in, into a uh, window position or whatever, it's going to be horrible. The, the more ideas that he's going to come out with. Really, don't. You ain't taking a purple spray can against a guy with a gun. You meet force with force. If the bad guy has a gun, you have a gun. That's the only chance that you have to survive. Anyways, crazy people, crazy people. Let me know what you think. I got to record some video because I, I really do. I don't have videos recorded for this week, and I need to work on videos. So I got some gear review that I want to do. Let me know what you think, and as always, God is in control.